Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of The Fisherman Fishing Planet. And we continue on with the Curse of the Frankenfish event for Halloween. And the next mission we're going to take a look at is the one called the Green Ogre Scale Mission. And based on this, it says, according to the instructions from the Witching Recipe book, the summoning potion should be colored in a very sparkly shade of green. You'll need to add plenty of green fish scales taken from the most fierce and hard to catch gar in the Heron River. It should be easier to catch such monsters during nighttime with spider silk line if you dare to find one. Now, I've got everything already set up here since I've recently upped my level. I now have seven rods in my inventory. So I have plenty of stuff to work with here, guys. But we're going to try using two bottom rods and a float rod. We've already got it set up with the hawk claw hook, which is required to catch the ogagar and the dead mice, which is also required. Now the spider silk line, I'm not sure. I looked in the shop and I can't find it anywhere under the lines at all. So the only thing I can guess is maybe it's on the map shop itself, or maybe you have to find it in one of those pumpkins. I don't know. Anyway, I'm hoping that the, it isn't going to be impossible to catch him without it. So we're going to go ahead and come in here and check it out. Yes, yeah, some of the missions here are not exactly real clear on everything. So what we're going to do first is check out the shop, see if it's in there. Yep, there it is. Spider Soak Line. I was hoping that would be the case. But before we spend 18 gold on that, I think I'm going to go ahead and check and see if there's any pumpkins around. Because sometimes you can get that stuff free just by pulling it out of the pumpkins. Now I've already gotten some bait that I need for this. The dead mice, as a matter of fact, is how I... I got them out of a pumpkin. I got 50 of them. So I didn't have to purchase those things. Now as far as where the pumpkins might be, or even if there are any, I don't know. We're going to just kind of take a look around. There's nothing there. Well, there are no pumpkins, guys. Not a single one. So, yeah, we're going to have to purchase them from the shop. Probably going to be a lot harder to catch him with this. Well, maybe not. 40 pound test. There actually is a fishing line called that. So that is kind of interesting that it, that's the case. The only problem that worries me is that it is such a heavy pound test. I don't think any of my gear has that, so they're all going to say it's too strong for the rod. There is risk of damage. So, I'm just going to have to put it on there and really watch what I am doing here. Alright, we've got every one of them set up. Now, the mission says we've already got those two completed. We got the equipped, the hog claw hook. Now, we got to catch the green ogagar. So that means we got to, let's see, was it midnight? Or just night, nighttime. Okay, that's fine. Well, if I remember correctly, we used to catch the gar most over here at Woody Enchantment. I'm guessing that's gonna be the same. Take it to 9 p.m. and forward it to night. And it's all nice and creepy. Now hopefully, this won't be too hard to do. Alright, and I did upscale my bottom rods so they can handle, I think up to 26.5, or maybe, no, it's 33 pounds. I think it's line, it's 26. So... I can pull in a lot bigger fish now. Alright, we're going to try throwing this one over here. Uh, 
I'm going to throw this one over here. And then we're going to get out our float rod. And right there, I used to catch him up the um, long nose gar. Did say they weren't going to be easy to catch. So that's what I'm afraid of. So far out of all these missions, the hardest one has been the ghost pike mission because there were so many different types of lures and you had to catch six of each off of each lure. It, was, it ended up being like 36 fish you had to catch. So that was a, that was mainly difficult because so much grinding was involved. But I am getting a bite off this one. <coughs> okay, let's up that tension a little bit. We definitely have what we're after. Should be a lot easier to get in. Yeah, he's green. He is green. We can put a little more tension on there, too. He is... Oh, and I've got another bite. This may not be quite so bad if I can just get this sucker in. Tell you what, let's go ahead and put that down. Oh, shoot, I got one on there, too. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and grab this one. And now we're just gonna fight them all. Shouldn't take too long. Not with three rods going on. Here's the first one. Oh, that is not one, that's a flathead. Huh. I will keep him though. Let's see, this one's been going on longest, so let's pull it in. Yeah, I think this one definitely is the right one, because, yeah, that's a gar. Well, this guy is not making it easy for me. Okay, let's switch off with this one again. Yeah, because he's already got it out 120 feet. Let's try to get him in a little bit. I think the Albano Yeti is bigger than the Olgagar. So I should have... Well, maybe not. We'll soon find out, because the Albano Yetis were averaging between 40 and 50 pounds. As soon as we get one of these guys in, see if they're heavier than that. It can, it's a couple pounds more powerful. There we go. There's our first green Ogagar, 40 pounds, so they're roughly the same size. Let me see here. Let me get a picture. Yeah, they're about the same size as the Yeti Gar, just a lot uglier if that was even possible. <laughs> we'll keep him. Let's see how big this guy is. Grab your torch and pitchforks. <laughs> Certain number of green ogre guards. Okay. Yeah, this one's almost done. He's getting pretty worn out. There we go. He's 37, so they're a little smaller than the 
the uh, albino yetis. Not too much. That's a good picture. I get a good snapshot of him. Keep him. I'm glad they allow you to turn the light off when you're taking the picture. All right, let's go ahead and throw that back out. Let's see. Caught that over there. Yeah, the uh, catfish I caught over there by the stick up, so I'm going to try. Yeah, it seems like they all happen at once. So honestly, this was not that tough. You just got to make sure that you grab up each rod and set the hook and then you just, if it's not getting anywhere, put the thing down, let him wear himself out. Well, doesn't matter, that one's got a bite. Okay, let's see. That is definitely a gar. Well, either that or a flathead. Nope, it's a gar. Yeah, he's not as big as the others were. 33 pounds. God, that is an ugly, ugly fish. So that is three out of the 13 already. It's mostly just a matter of keeping at it. Now there is a bit of a current, so you're going to have to keep tossing that back out. If you're a little more advanced, you could use three bottom rods. I think I have to get to like level 42 before I can get one that holds three. I'm already getting a bite. Yeah, they just, they don't waste any time. They nibble on it and then they take it. It's usually easy to tell early on you've got one because they, they break the surface. You see that pointed snout. He's coming. He's coming. He might make one last hurrah, but I'm going to try to... Nope. He's going to make one more run for it. There he goes. <laughs> Damn. That was like 40 feet he went out. There he goes. Ooh, new personal record. Green Ogre Gar, 41 pounds. So he's the biggest, biggest one I've caught so far. 
I don't know if you can tell that he's big. Yeah, you can tell he's big. Just turn that light out. 57 inches. That is a big fish. Those red eyes. We will keep him. What I'm going to do is I'm going to recast this. And nothing's bit off of them. Not sure if I threw them too far or what. There we go. Yeah, I think the peak periods do have some impact. So I think I might check that, see where we stand. Oh, another flathead. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the peak. Yeah, see, we're starting to come out of it. So it's gonna get kind of slow for a little while, and then might wanna fast forward it to 2 a.m. We were just in the best part of the peak there. Peaks don't seem to affect the flathead, so. Now there is another really good spot for these guys. I think I might go ahead and show you where they are real quick. This spot is always good. Well, it should be for the long nose gar, but they seem to be in the same spots, so. Yeah, I believe it's right over here at Rubble of Old Times. And if you come over here to this side of things, the truth of the matter is, this is actually where I was fishing earlier. This is just the other side. But if you fish in this area right here, you'll get bites there too. Let's go ahead and set that up here. Yeah, this is basically where we were fishing, honestly, on the other side. It's just that now we're doing it from on this side. There we go. And this is a gar. I already saw him poke his head out.
There we go. Now he's kind of small. But still, he counts. Let me go ahead and mark that real quick since we got the map up here. Mark the last fish right there. Pretty much exactly where I had it before. I'm going to put this one up a little bit further. Let the current bring it down. Right off the bat, same spot. Yeah, it's not going to take too long to get these guys. Okay, this guy's a lot bigger. There we go. He's 40 pounds. Very nice. I think we might have a bite on that one. I'm not sure. I'm just going to toss this one right back out where that one was. Let's recast this one a little closer to that one. Not, not on top of it, but close enough. So we've got almost half, almost half, six out of the 13. There we go. And, yeah, it is. I wasn't sure if it was a catfish. No, he's fighting too hard to be a catfish. Ooh, he's got some... He's got some oomph to him. This guy may be the biggest one yet. There we go. No, he's only 31 pounds, just a good fighter. And now we're at more than half, so as you can see, it does not take too long. There's been a little bit of a pause in between, but not really that much. Aha, 
there are pumpkins here, guys. I thought I saw something. Got a pumpkin bobber. And rotten minnows, which we do need in the next mission, actually. So yes, there are pumpkins. They're right here where the tents are. And you have to get... Let's see. Right, well... It's a rubble of old times. I thought I was seeing an orange reflection. I just couldn't figure out where it was coming from. All right, let's go ahead and go back to Woody Enchantment. There's our marker. Now we just wait. Yep, there we go. This is definitely the spot, guys. Definitely the spot. He's going to make life difficult for me right there at the end. <laughs> Little bugger. I keep getting him like 20 feet away. There's something flopping around out there too. There we go, we got him. It's number 11. 38 pounds, that's a good size one. And we just have to get one more after this one, and then that'll be it. Come on. He is definitely wanting to give me a fight, but he is coming. Thirty nine pounds. And I did see something here. I always try to cast where I see activity. There we go. This is the last one, guys.
and it was right where the activity was too. Yeah, if you see something splashing around out there, it's a good idea to try casting it out there. If you're not getting any, anything where you've marked or where you think they should be. And that's it. The mission is complete. We have caught all the green ogre cars. That's our final ugly guy. And boy, is he ugly. And just for good measure, I guess we'll bring in another one. Mission accomplished. Green over scale. All done. Now the summoning potion it will be just the right color. Now you can, you can catch as many of these guys as you want, guys. You don't have to just do it for the mission. These guys bring in a lot of cash, and as you see, my net is darn near full. I have managed not only to level, but I've managed to upgrade all my gear, and I still have almost 300000 in cash available to me. I've made well over a hundred thousand cash just off these missions alone. You do have to pay some gold for some things. That's the only thing. They usually make sure that you get enough in the missions to cover it. There we go, that's our extra guy. New personal record, 42 pounds. So he's the biggest so far. Well, actually, I will get a picture with him since he's my my best of my best. Take my light off. Plus it's a little bit lighter so you can see him better. That's a good picture actually. It's my biggest one, 58.133 inches, 42.181 pounds. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. Let's keep him. Our net is completely full, so we had a great night, guys. And we are going to head out and leave for the day. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of the Fisherman Fishing Planet. That's 25,000 cash. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.